Welcome to another really sunny and hot day in Thailand. Be thankful we're inside with some aircon. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about that. If you have a 3D printer, like I do, you, over time, are going to end up with a box full of stuff that looks like this and a box full of stuff that looks like this. So what do you do about it? I have a solution. As with most things in life, when you do something, there's a little bit of waste at the end of the situation. So this is a spool of PLA 3D printer filament, just like I've got four spools over there waiting to be fed into my printer. But as a side effect, you make things like this. These are little wispy things that are called the skirt that goes around a print and it generally primes the uh, nozzle to make sure it's heated up and it's uh, putting out filament at the right temperature and everything's good. And then sometimes you get uh, cutoffs. You have to snip off a bit at the end just to make sure you're starting with a clean piece. So you've got a lot of this fluffy stuff. Then you've got things that are built. Now, this was the result of a power outage, which left me with half of a Tesla. Some things uh, were prototypes. Maybe they were built to test and size something. This was actually a fan support that just ripped itself right off the wall, so that's no good. Other things were done like this as prototypes for making sure the size was right. Other things like this were test prints. I think this one ran out of filament on the spool and I had to change the spool and start again. So well, what do you do with this? Um, it's actually a kind of plastic. All of this is PLA, polylactic acid, which is made usually uh, from corn or some kind of a sugar-based organic molecule. It's quite easy to do. But it's not recyclable in the traditional sense of other plastics like PET or, or the other ones. But there is this super genius woman who lives in New Zealand and she has a plan. Meet Eva Hawkinson. Notice the giant racing machine there? That's the Guinness World Record holding fastest electric motorcycle in the world at 434 kilometers an hour. It's classed as a sidecar motorcycle due to the three-wheel design. I learned of Eva when she and her husband Bill moved to Auckland, New Zealand so she could become a professor of engineering. She holds a PhD in mechanical engineering. So of course, what would she do in her spare time but design, build, and drive the fastest electric motorcycle on the planet? A machine called Kilojoule came first. And then Green Envy was born with a ton of improvements. It runs about a thousand horsepower through two AC electric motors, four inverters, and a 20 kilowatt hour high output battery pack. It's so fast it can't use rubber tires and needs to run on salt flats in Bonneville and Australia during FIM sanctions events, which is where she set her 15 national and world records. She's targeting 530 kilometers an hour when it's fully optimized and she gets a day with good conditions. And then COVID hit. Going to racing events was on, off, on, off, and in the end, it didn't happen. Since she and Bill are big into 3D printers, they decided a good lockdown idea was to start their own company to make 3D printer filament. And so Kiwi Phil was born. Eva and Bill are ramping up their production using, of all things, a used plastic drinking straw machine. Here you can see the first print they ever did with their own filament, and then all of the colors that they're currently producing. Their focus is on sustainable production, so she makes her own spools and boxes out of recycled cardboard, which can then be recycled again by the end user. 
The final step of recycling would be to collect scrap filament, shred it, and make new spools of material. And this is where I came in. I saw on Eva's Facebook page that they were working towards that goal, and I offered to send my scrap filament. Shortly thereafter, they bought a shredder and messaged me back that they were ready to accept scrap material, and now here we are. So I'm going to put all those wispy bits into this biodegradable bag that I happen to have. That goes in that reused cardboard box. All this stuff gets dumped in too. Zip it up and send it off to New Zealand. Okay, the box is nearly full. That brought back a lot of memories about all these little projects that I worked on, including the feet of a stormtrooper, of all things. My first two color 3D print, he got chopped off at the knees. Like most stormtroopers, he couldn't fight back. Anyway, off we go. If you've been saving your scraps or wish to save them in the future, Eva is ready for you. I'll be buying their PLA product in the future, completing the circle of life for printer filament. There's a chance that something I print in the future will contain material that I printed and then sent back to Eva. That just warms my heart. Here's Eva's shipping address, and I'll also put it down in the doodly-doo, along with links to all of her other online sites. If you choose to participate, you get a big thanks from me and Eva and Bill. To save money on shipping your scrap material to her, you can use your postal service's slowest delivery method. It can go on a slow boat and will eventually arrive and then enter her recycling process. Hey, if you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my other content, I'd appreciate a subscribe. Take care and see you next time.